Hello YouTube. We're using this to polish a hammerhead. I do not know the grit of it, but that looks pretty good. Uh, I filed it, was off a little bit, you know, kind of chamfered it. Uh, took it to my abrasive wheels, my coarse, just my red coarse one, and then took it to this sandpaper. Uh, we figured out the problem the other day. Uh, this thing was trying to pull this way. Uh, where it mounts in there, I'm going to try to take a picture. I just made a copper shim. It's just copper flashing. Uh, probably a quarter inch wide. And wrapped it around. The grinder and formed it. I put it in the hole first, which made it easier. Then put the grinder in. Uh, I could take a picture back there, but you know how it mounts. It's got a clamp and a screw. But I could try to take a picture there where you can see the copper. But that solved it. Uh, it just would not tighten up. I even put a nut on there. Uh, so it would spread out where the bolt goes. So I will take a picture of that. You'll see a big nut on that little bolt. So now it's pretty solid. Plus I clamped it down. So now it really can't move. It's kind of wonky device there. But we found belts for this. Okay. They fit a Makita. Inch and an eight by 21 inches. These are 20 inch belt. I know I can go an inch longer. I'm sure it'll be okay. And I also looked up the Makita sander. It is a handheld sander. And it's like $240 some dollars. So it's not cheap. And the belts are made by Makita. So I found them on Amazon. I did find the ones for these. They did not say what they were. They just said sanding belts for whatever. And these are like up to, up to almost 80 bucks for this contraption. I mean, what a joke. This was given to me. And I think... Uh, the neighbor said it cost him 50 bucks or something. Well, I just would have bought a belt sander. But that's why I put so much time in this. It was good to me. But on with the show. Get that over with. We're going to do this part on the abrasive wheels. We're not going to do it here. This I tried going over a little bit. It's just so hard to try to fit up in here. To go round and around. Something around there. Because... That's what I did this with. I just went up here and did it. We'll turn this on once, so when I come back, it'll be running. So watch your volume. able to run it at a faster speed now so i think if i get new belts be better because these belts are shot they're pretty flimsy made i hope the other ones aren't too thick but we'll find out i cannot tell you the price till i get them and make a video on it so okay let's off to finish the hammer okay we used this wheel we went around like this and this we went this way because we're trying to round it over because we had a little bit too much of a flat spot but we did go this way okay it sure hard with the handle on it then it went this way we couldn't do this with this new wheel see how that stuff is in there how it's glued you can only use the corners but it'll get us used get a figure this is made to strip paint like this uh, these are the little scrubby wheels. Okay, we're going to go down to our different grits. we got our red. And our gray. And we're not going to polish this with the sanding belt. Just, we just did this head. We might repaint it. If we do, we'll hand paint it. We're going to get through all that work of masking tape. Uh, we redid this hammer last year. Or so a couple years ago. It was totally mangled and mashed. If you remember back a few winters. It was probably a couple winters ago. It was really mashed and mangled. It was a destroyed ball peen hammerhead when I started. It was. It was totally destroyed. So some of you might remember this hammer. Save the original hammer handle. I don't know if we're going to sand it or not. But we're just giving it a good refinish. It's a working tool. Okay back to work. Okay. We use our various abrasive wheels. And there's a few dings and mistakes in there. Like in there. We're going to repaint the head. Leave this shiny, this shiny. 
Just hand paint, a la carte paint. That did work good. I don't know the grit. So I'm looking forward to the other belts being a little better. So I want something I can really polish steel with. With less effort, because those scrubby wheels do not actually polish to a mirrored finish. Either did this sanding belt, but uh, you took some different polish and bumping wheels, it'd probably look pretty good. Okay, we decided we're going to sand this down and stain it with a darker color. It gets looking nasty when we use it on the workbench, so we're off to do that. We're carried away. It's about 5 degrees out. Oh, we had about 85 degrees over by the stove for a while ago. We was ready to faint. But we're keeping it warm. Uh, all this week is supposed to get below zero. Today is a Monday. And it is cold. It's going to be that way all week through the Midwest. There we go. We'll probably never get that out like last time. But I, if I could find a video when I first redid this, I'll put it in the description. Or pin it to the first comment. It'll be somewhere. If I can find it. Because I redid this hammer. It was totally destroyed. Here you go. Let's talk more work. When we come back, we'll be all done. We don't need to show any other stuff. Uh, paint that, sand this, and stain it with that dark stain. It'll hide that nasty look there. Various grits of sandpaper, whatever we got. We got some new 115, 220. So, we're probably really ripping down with 80 grit. We like doing that. Just rip it down with some 80 grit and get the junk out of there. This, this is just oil if I remembered right. Okay. Let's talk. More work. Okay. Listen to the train. Our, our paint job's terrible. We tried spraying some flat black into the lid using a brush. It's terrible. Let's work, Hammer. We did try staining this. It did not take very well. Possibly because this has been oiled a lot, so no matter how much I sand it, and I did use acetone on the wood when I was done, you know, to clean it, it just did not take it. I tried filling that with sawdust and super glue, and that black streak I had in there, I did sand out pretty good. I think that was in here, but it almost made a little dip, made it flatter to get rid of it, <clears throat> but... It's a work tool. Just keep looking at that. That sanding belt did pretty good. This was epoxy, but I painted over it. There you go. It's not bad. It's the second time I redid this. If I could ever find a video, I'll put a link to it. Because this was a hammer that the head was destroyed. It was really mashed a lot. So, thanks for watching. Uh, just another clean up. Because it's been restored once, just clean up and redo it. Oh, all that. This has got a couple coats of shellac on it. Just plain old shellac. I like it. 